Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting Olympiad question. So, the given question is, let the greatest function of x denotes the greatest integer not exceeding x. Find the last three digit of root cube under root 5 plus 2 plus root cube under root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 2014. So, here we are asked to find the last three digit of this given expression so without any delay let's start the solution in the first step let's take x equals to root cube under root 5 plus 2 plus root cube under root 5 minus 2 now in the next step by cubing both side of the equation we have x is cube equals to root cube under root 5 plus 2 plus root cube under root 5 minus 2 whole cube. So we know an algebraic identity that is a plus b whole cube equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab multiplied with a plus b. By applying this algebraic identity our equation becomes x cube equals to so we have taken this term as a and this term as b. So by cubing root cube under root 5 plus 2 we have root 5 plus 2 plus now cubing root cube under root 5 minus 2. This root cube get eliminated so we have root 5 minus 2 plus 3 multiplied with whole root cube under root 5 plus 2 multiplied with root 5 minus 2 whole multiplied with root cube under root 5 plus 2 plus root cube under root 5 minus 2. So this implies this x is cube equals so here we have root 5 and here we have root 5 root 5 plus root 5 is 2 root 5 and plus 2 minus 2 get cancelled out. So we have plus 3 multiplied with root cube under 5 root 5 square minus 2 square multiplied with this term is nothing but x. This implies this. x is cube equals to 2 root 5 plus 3x because root 5 square is 5, 5 minus 4 is 1. So we have 3x. Now, in the next step, let's take this 2 root 5 to the left hand side. So, we have x is cube minus 2 root 5 equals to 3x. This implies this x is cube minus 2 root 5. Let's add minus 3 root 5 in the both side of the equation. So, we have 3x minus 3 root 5. This implies this x is cube minus 5 root 5 equals to 3 multiplied with x minus root 5 by taking 3 common. So I have added this minus 3 root 5 in the both side equation in order to apply identity of a cube minus b cube. So we can write this equation now x is cube minus root 5 cube equals to 3 multiplied with x minus root 5. So, we know an algebraic identity that is a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b multiplied with a square plus a b plus b square. So, by applying this algebraic identity in the left side of the equation, we have x minus root 5 multiplied with x square plus root 5x plus 5 equals to 3 multiplied with x minus root 5. Now in the next step we have x minus root 5 multiplied with x square plus root 5x plus 5 minus 3 x minus root 5 equals to 0. So here you can see that here we have x minus root 5 and here we have x minus root 5. Let's take x minus root 5 common. So we have x minus root 5 multiplied with x square plus root 5x 
प्लस फाइव माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस एम्प्लाइज एक्स माइनस रूट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस रूट फाइव एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो नाउ वी हैव एक्स माइनस रूट फाइव इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस रूट फाइव एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी हैव x equals to root five is one of our value of x, and here we have a quadratic equation. So we'll apply the quadratic formula that is x equals to minus b plus or minus root over b square minus four ac divided by two a, where a is one, b equals to root five, and c equals to two. So a value of x equals to Minus root five plus or minus root over b square is five minus four multiplied with one multiplied with two divided by two. So this implies x equals to minus root five plus or minus root under five minus eight is minus three divided by two. So here we are getting an imaginary value of x. so by ignoring imaginary value of x we have only x equals to root 5 okay so we have x equals to root 5 so what are asked to find were asked to find find the last three digit of this given expression so this value is equals to root 5 so we can write root cube under root 5 plus 2 plus Root cube under root five minus two whole to the power twenty fourteen equals to root five whole to the power twenty fourteen. So we can write five to the power twenty fourteen divided by two as root five is nothing but five to the power one by two. So this equivalent to five to the power one zero zero seven. So we are asked to find the last three digits. So the last three digit of the power of five follows a pattern that is zero zero five for five to the power one, zero two five for five to the power two, one two five for five to the power three, and six two five for five to the power four. Again for five to the power five, last three digit is one two five. Then For five to the power six, we have again six two five. Again for five to the power seven, we have last three digit is one two five. And for five to the power eight, last three digit is six two five. So this patterns continue for odd number power. Last three digit is one two five. For even number power, last three digit is six two five. So here we have five to the power one zero seven. One zero seven is nothing but a odd number. So last three digits of five to the power one zero zero seven is one two is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting questions. Thank you.